Good morning. It's good to see you again today. I was going to carry on with my thought from yesterday, but I'm not. I'm going to go to um, one of the most comforting verses, really. Um, in 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, Peter writing, it says, Cast all your anxieties on him, for he cares for you. I don't know what you might be anxious about today, what is coming up in the next few weeks or months. Perhaps you are anxious, perhaps you're anxious about, I don't know. We can be anxious about so many things, can't we? We can be anxious about little things and, and big things. But the scripture tells us not to carry our anxieties, but to throw them, to throw them, cast them, not place them, but throw them, throw them onto Jesus because he cares for you. Everything that you're anxious about. Perhaps you're anxious because your bank balance has gone down a bit because everything's been costing a bit more. Perhaps you're anxious because all, all the news, well, it's not true that all the news is bad, but there's constant news about the increase in, in uh, cost of, the cost of living, the cost of energy, the need to save the planet, the terrible things that are happening over in the Ukraine. Uh, perhaps you're anxious about your business. Perhaps you're anxious about your job or about something that's happened in your workplace. Perhaps you're anxious about your health. Anxious about your children or your grandchildren or your nieces or nephews perhaps you're anxious perhaps you're anxious about going up growing older perhaps you're anxious about losing your abilities stop it <laughs> throw those anxieties onto Jesus he didn't we were not designed to carry anxiety and 99% of the things that we're anxious about never happen. We build them up to such an extent, even encounters, even family gatherings perhaps that loom ahead and we know we have difficult relationships with people in the family and we're anxious about it. And we imagine what it will be like and we remember what it was like last time, perhaps, or the time before that. Don't spoil today with being anxious about tomorrow. Today is the day to live for Jesus. Today is the day to, to look up, not down. Or perhaps to, to realise that you are up there, seated in the heavenlies, looking down in victory over the difficulties that you are thinking about. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loved you. You are not... You're, you're not you're not under the under the thumb of the circumstances in your life. You are the victor. The victory has been given to you by Jesus, has been achieved by Jesus. We have to live by faith, not by feelings. Trusting, not doubting. We think we've won the battle, and then every time there's another. Another situation arises and we find ourselves anxious. You know, the day we get per the day we become perfect, we'll be in heaven. And we won't be anxious about anything ever more. You know that there'll be no anxiety, no worry in heaven. You know, years ago when I was working in the hospice, uh, we had a lady who came to the day centre, and of course the, the hospice was for the care of people with life-limiting illnesses. And she had a life-limiting illness, but she was, she was a worry wart. She worried about absolutely everything. And her face told the story of anxiety. She was anxious about everything. And of course, being ill, she was anxious, anxious about every 
visit to her professional all the time she was anxious. And um, I was chaplain there, you know. I used to go into the day centre and spend time with the patients. And one day she asked to talk to me privately. And she came, she came into my room and, and she said to me, almost accusationally, <laughs> I want to be like you. You don't worry about anything. You, you, you don't fret about anything. You, you, ne you, you never, you never anxious. I want to be like you. I want what you've got. And I said, uh, I'm not anxious about anything because I trust God in everything. Because I know Jesus, I know how much God loves me. And I know he won't let things happen to me. Without, that he will always be there with me, whatever comes. I don't bother to worry. And she said, well, I want, I want to be like you. And I said, well, the first step is to ask Jesus into your life. Oh, she said, I don't want to become religious. I don't want that. And I said, there is no other way. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. I'm only the way I am because I trust Jesus. And she was cross. She was really cross. She wanted the results of a lifetime of faith without any of the training and discipline and the experiences that are necessary because it's only as you prove God in every situation that you're able to trust him for the new situation that has arisen that you've never experienced before. And then you can trust God because you know he's been faithful in the past. You can't, you can't have instant, instant, well, you can in one sense, because when you become a Christian, you receive that peace that passes all understanding. But the ability to not worry and not be anxious is not, is not a gift of the Spirit. But it comes through living and trusting and knowing and proving that God is able to undertake in every situation. And I know that. I've known it for years. And this poor lady... She couldn't take the first step because she saw it as weakness. That becoming religious, <laughs> turning to God, was a, was a sign of weakness. She was going to stand on her own two feet. But she wasn't standing. She was under an enormous weight of anxiety. The way to peace is Jesus. The answer to everything is Jesus. He is enough. He is our sufficiency. Cast your anxieties on him, for he cares for you. Have a, have a, have, ooh, have a lovely day, <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.